Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about some additional operations with the list and the map. Because so far we have discussed how uh, we are going to uh, iterate the uh, list and the map. So there are other ways to do that. Okay. In the last video, we discussed. Uh, uh, I'm I'm going to filter the specific employee information uh, from my existing map. Okay. The same way, I'm going to do the same operation in a different manner. Okay. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So this is John Map One. See here, pretty much everything is same, but how the when we convert into the map. Instead of using this, you can try in other way. Okay, so so you don't have to use the the employee reference here. Okay, you can directly use the map entry. Okay, so in the traditional way, how we will do the when you uh, iterate into into the loop, you will write for loop and map dot entry, and inside the entry you will iterate each and every element. Same way we can do that. Okay, so here. This is my key. So what you can do is, um, you can use map dot entry. Map dot entry and my get key. This is not a method, okay? Get key. And instead of value, you can use the same way to get the value also. Get value. This is also work. Okay. Again, this is pretty much simple, but this, there are other ways to do that also. Just we have to know what are the uh, ways to handle the map. Okay. So let's print this and we'll see what happens. So let's see whether both of them printing the same data. Okay. Let's print this. Here we go. See, both of them written the same data the implementation is slightly different or different way but still the outcome is the same okay so what else we can do okay uh, okay let's see in the list what else we can see see here uh, I have a London employees here okay what else we can do let me find out something here that first name okay see there is an additional option here wherever you can simply use the um, lambda expression or because here you're directly using the employee DTO here so it doesn't matter what DTO is here you can there is additional operations uh, like function dot identity function dot identity the function dot is identity is nothing but the same operation the function dot identity equal to the lambda expression okay so instead of this you can use function dot identity as well okay let's see how it works you need to import Okay, see, we don't have any issues. Okay, let's print the data and see. Let's comment out the other outputs. So, identity here. Okay, let's see. So, instead of uh, the lambda expression, I used the, the function at identity. See, still it's printing all the data. Okay. So, the same way it's not only uh, just like uh, doing the lambda expression and taking the reference and getting the information from there the reference value we can use the function at identity which will do the same operation nothing but the lambda okay so what are the other things which we can do here okay so in the next video I'm going to use a simple uh, list and it contains the uh, duplicates 
and the other list which does not have any duplicates okay and how we are going to handle that and how we are going to convert those list as a map what will happen if we have the duplicates so all those things which we are going to discuss in the upcoming video okay just give it a try and let me know if you guys have any uh, issues or clarification and please do subscribe my channel thank you